another important update i want to give is in our youtube channel we have something called as community tab in this community tab you will be listed with all the latest videos and with all the latest job openings i have found so i'm not having any deal with any organization just whatever i have seen on linkedin or from my friends whatsapp status or something so i'm posting all the job opportunities here please feel free to share this uh, for the people who are looking for the job and not only that we have playlists in the playlists also i have uh, categorized all the videos so you can refer to the concepts accordingly before going to video i want to share that i am available in top mate now so if you want some pega career guidance or if you want some pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview question whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mate you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, i can have one to one chat with you guys let's get started into the topic so we know that we have different access pro control protocols like our back and a back and c back this is nothing but client based access control it actually provides developers with a framework that enables to uh, modify arrays or view customers own data which is termed as personal identifiable information pii within a repository so this cback is used as a means of implementing the requirements under some guidelines so we would be storing some data under some uh, gdpr guidelines or uh, some california customer consumer privacy act ccpa guidelines and whatever data privacy laws we have we would be storing customer sensitive information with us and we will allow customers to identify like a uh, view modify or erase the respective data so with this cback uh, right uh, the developers can expose uh, this uh, pa tracked in a customer system so this uh, really helps uh, the particular customer data to be modified and they do not want to store this in applications data for example uh, like information of a uh, customer system uh, which belongs to a customer like customer name address social security number credit cards all this will be uh, stored and, and those are exposed to the client the developer decides what information that customer can modify and erase like uh, we won't allow them to update their date of birth or just we want to update a uh, few of the information uh, based on their address something like that so based on the laws of the respective region we would be providing this say back so next what are the different uh, things we have to consider while we are storing customer data this uh, gdpr general data protection regulation of eu so limit data collection storage allow data access general data protection regulation ensure data accuracy limit storage of their personal data ensure integrity and confidentiality and we should not be uh, breaching this uh, respective uh, data to others and uh, if there is any breach we have to notify the customer and uh, we have to practice accountability like uh, the respective applications should take the accountability and responsibility of the respective data as well next what is the application structure of this uh, gdpr so normally cback will be configured in pega platform uh, the client won't be interacting directly with uh, pega platform so the cback in pega platform provides involves a pega gdpr request management application rma where we can configure multiple applica pega applications also so actually this rma is where client uh, rights are displayed and the cback requests originate the client interacts with rma this rma will be requesting with a specified repositories and that repository will the man manage the data itself so when client requests to rectify arrays or limit like we will be giving three options right then these uh, personal data uh, changes and all will be done using rest apis okay in pega platform applications where per personal data is used and stored in pega database where client requests are enforced so now i would be showing the architecture of this so this is the client request and this is gdpr request management application so whenever a client requests right if we will be recording a case here and that case uh, again when they, it is interacting with uh, the application we would be creating a subcase for this manner uh, 
like parent case like uh, one client can have uh, access to different pega applications right so this is the parent case so whenever the respective client is uh, accessing data through any up different applications we will be creating that many sub cases so this sub case one uh, is uh, used to for a rest request uh, for case uh, in pega and once uh, the response is back uh, we would be giving to the update into the main case so this is the uh, architecture uh, we have to follow for this uh, respect to client base access control and next so how do you configure in pega so uh, first we should be configuring this respect to uh, thing right uh, so in pega app uh, what you will configure in pega app we would be configuring uh, rule client based access uh, control so here under records if you go to security here you can see client based access so these are the instances so let's open one sample instance if you see this uh, sample instance here you can see property uh, and this is external label and external description and this is the rectify array so which one you want to have whether you want to erase the data or you want to update the data and uh, if you want to provide only read only access like to view but not uh, like rectify or erase you can uncheck these uh, check boxes and you no know, need to specify these activities now first uh, coming to this rule this client based access control uh, uh, rules right is having uh, three types mainly data elements so where the properties are mapped you can add any number of properties over here and this is activity name which is very useful here so if you want to get the data from a database so uh, that logic control you have to write in an activity you can specify that activity over here so for if, if you have different activities for access rectifiers you, yeah, you can uh, give different activities over here and example this uh, request customer data right uh, this is otb activity here if you see they are initiating customer data page and here client client identifies page they were forming which is of data px structure might be this is of decisioning concept and here they were using uh, source uh, for the getting the database is like a data set so it's not a rule like you have to use data sets only so where activities you can write whatever you want like whether it's a obj browser rdb list whatever it is but you have to determine so what would be the request so here as we have discussed if client is requesting you with a customer id then that customer id you have to specify here and that customer id you have to pass to this activity and you have to get the data and uh, you have to display it so same in the case of rectify and arrays also based on the business context you have to give this you have to make sure that this external label should be proper because here uh, for example see subject id it is mentioned because in database you might be storing like a pyid but there you can't ask pyid there you have to mention like provide your case id is uh, where we want you want to rectify or erase the information or whether you want to display the information so this external label and description also you can give uh, if you want uh, more visibility on the respective properties and this identify mapping because here subject id is mapped to customer id right so we would be uh, mapping this as a primary identifier in this uh, way you have to define this uh, respect to client based access and uh, as i have mentioned in activities you can use any one of the uh, rules like uh, like activities only but you can uh, use either it you want to have a data set or not and there are some otb activities already uh, present example this data execute right here it is uh, selecting uh, deleting the keys uh, and all you know like data set uh, if you don't know data set i already made a video you can go through that uh, data set video and here you can uh, provide like whether you want to browse by keys delete save truncate everything you can use this and uh, based on your business needs uh, again i have said like you can have rectify arrays both uh, in one client based access if uh, you want that hope you have learned a new concept you try to implement client based access if uh, you already have implemented this please feel free to comment on the video so 
others also can get the knowledge and if you found any difficulties in implementing this or if you have gone through some exceptions on this also you please feel free to comment so it will be very useful for others also to understand about this client based access control thanks for watching this video hope you have liked the content please feel free to subscribe to this channel and check community tab for regular updates and click on bell notifications